This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I think that might be my move if I was a an, an enhancement guy. You start beating the shit out of me, I'm just gonna lay down. As we told you a little bit later on in the program, we're gonna give you some information on the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. We're cooking today. Here they are, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and Baby Doll. You know what? You're gonna have to call somebody. I'm getting ready to pitch a fit. What I'm gonna do out here today? I have seen more great wrestling today. David has to be at his best today. In the great wrestling going on. Let me tell you another thing. I wanna go on record right now in the USA Today newspaper. Somebody was talking about professional wrestling. And talking about why, for instance, Dusty Rhodes is not in an NFL camp. Well, brother, I make more money per year than 95% of the quarterbacks in the National Football League. That's a good reason. I drive three Mercedes Benz. That's another good reason. I got a house in Los Angeles, California, one in Charlotte, North Carolina, and a fancy hotel apartment in New Orleans. I had real women from show to show until dog came along and settled me down. I have rode the wildest horses throughout this country to a standstill. I have looked the devil in the face on many occasions and spit in his eye. I have bit the head off of rattlesnakes. And you telling me that Tully Blanchard, Ian Anderson, and Ric Flair are going to stand on the same ground that Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream is, break my leg or whatever and get away with it? It ain't going to happen. Steal my belt. It ain't going to happen. You can have my silver studded saddle bar, but you can't have my soul today. You understand what I'm saying? You can tell a Texan, but you can't tell it much. So this thing I got in my hand right here, you see this? Right here, Wahoo McDaniel got an Indian strap. And Iron Anderson, tell that black good, you get to know this thing real well, cause your noggin's gonna be shining when I put it on your head. You understand it, dog? You tell him like it's going to be. You know, Arn Anderson, we're told who you were next. And you know what? I have been outside the ring when you have begged for mercy because of what this man has done to you. Because you are next. And it doesn't matter what happens in New Orleans because we do have a title shot. Even though, Arn, we do you have you about a week ahead of time. And Dusty, you know, you said you were going to break his leg. Why didn't you just break his jaw so he can't come out here and mouth off anymore? I'm innocent, baby doll. Once your jaw broke, consider it done, mama. The American dream, Dusty Rhodes, baby doll. We have more action. Don't go away. Consider it done, mama. How about him shitting on the uh, enhancement talent? Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, I think that was, Tony Zane got beat up because apparently he was too green. Superdome in New Orleans, as you know, the one-day tag team tournament for the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. 24 of the greatest tag teams in the world will be there. Also, as you know, Ric Flair defends the NWA World Heavyweight title on that night against the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Well, this news comes from Bill Watts and all of our friends at the Universal Wrestling Federation. That night, North American Heavyweight title match, no disqualification as the champion Hacksaw Jim Duggan defends against Dick Slater. That event will be also during the night session as well that World Heavyweight title match and the night session starts at 7.30, of course. Afternoon session at 2.30 with all the greatest wrestlers in the world. And that's all part of the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup Tag Team Tournament. Here's a team seated number four and certainly one of the favorites to win the $1 million purse. You know, Tony Schiavone, I was listening to Dusty Rhodes. No man alive can talk better about himself than Dusty Rhodes. My hat comes off to you because you are, my friend, the baddest of the bad. You bite rattlesnakes hands off and all those things. But you know, Dusty Rhodes, I'm the man that put you down. One, two, three. So what does that make me? That makes me better than the baddest. So Dusty Rhodes, you think about that. Every night you go to sleep and every morning, every time you look at your kids, you think about that because I'm better than you and I'm better than you will ever think about being. Let me tell you something. I'm going to just sit back here today and listen to a lot of things being said. Pez Riley's got something to say that I want to listen to. But when I got to sit back here and listen to Baby Doll come out here giving people orders, it's enough to make me sick to my stomach. 
that she's not at home with her cabbage doll collection and Sam Houston and Jimmy Vine and some of Dusty's cronies sitting around her saying, Sammy, put this dress on this cabbage patch doll and do this to that one and change that diaper. Hey, this is not a tackling dummy at practice. We're into the real thing. We're into what's happening. And when you talk about the world television champion, baby doll, and you tell the American dream you want him to bust his jaw, this man is going to feed back to you, Mr. American Dream, everything you want to give him and a whole lot more. Tony Giovanni, no woman alive threatens me where I come from. The women either make dinner or make babies. You understand, baby doll? So don't come out here, Dusty Rose. Take your skirt off, put your pants back on. If that's your situation, you run it. You understand? But the issue at hand, bull rope and scout matching. You want to tie us up? You and the big chief, fine, tie us up. We're going to show you what endurance is all about. And Pez Wiley, since you finally become a man, since you've turned into a man, maybe you'll have the distinct pleasure way on down the road of having a cocktail with a four horseman. Because trust me, this is what's happening along with our cousin, the world heavyweight champion, Rick Flair. Dusty Rhodes, make no mistake. When you're on the hit list of the three horsemen, eventually you're going to be back in a cast, period. Two of the four horsemen on Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and, of course, James J. Dillon. Let's go to the ring. There he is. Boy, they are chanting Magnum big. Yeah. By the way, how great was Arn's line? When you're on the other side of the horseman, eventually you're going to be in a cast. Mm, isn't that something? Good stuff. What that you, is good. Are, JJ cans at your house right now. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, this this can here. Uh, it's empty. I'd like to go get another one, but I can't. Well, yeah, you can. No, 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 Lois won't. Lois won't, and Lois won't bring me one. So, well, I thought you run your household. I, I do, but but she won't because she would be on camera, and she doesn't want to be on camera. I see. So since you run your household, why don't you run downstairs get your ass another one? Because we're taping, and I respect the tape. You yeah. undercover hillbilly motherfucker. We're going to play a bunch of notice, shit. Notice, notice how I uh, add motherfucker. That was our Magnum's match is already done. Let's listen to these anniversaries. Acknowledge the 64th wedding anniversary of <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Caravaggio of Newcastle. Mr. Caravaggio is 91 years of age. He and his wife have been married 64 years. Congratulations to all of us at World Championship Wrestling. We'd love to hear from you. Write to us. World Championship Wrestling. 1250 South Omni, Atlanta, 30303. Also, happy birthday to Kath. Binding of Van Wert, Ohio, from all of us, the World Championship Wrestling. Let's bring in now number two seated team in the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup Tag Team Tournament Offensive Plus, Magnum TA and Ron Garvin. You know, it's a great thrill to be a part of this first Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Tag Team Tournament to begin with because it is such a great event. Being held in the Super Bowl there in New Orleans, expecting capacity crowds. There's a lot of stiff competition going to be there. There's going to be people like a good friend of mine, Terry Taylor, teaming up with Steve Dr. Dev Williams. You got the Kiwi Sheep Herders. You got the toughest tag teams from all over the world coming together for a million dollar purse. The greatest purse ever handed out in professional wrestling. Well, Ron Garvin and myself are not exactly an established tag team. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of time to spend the ring together, but we're putting our minds together for this thing, our combined effort, combined effort to go out there and win this first tournament, because that is going to have to go down the history books as a milestone in professional wrestling. Ron Garvin's got the knockout punch. I don't think there's any more intense professional wrestling in the world anywhere today, and I'm really glad to have him as my partner. Well, Magnum, I'm glad to have you as a partner because I tell you, you're going to stand there and you're going to go 100%, and that's all you can expect out of somebody. So go 100%. And believe me, I've been watching him, and he's successful doing it. Now, I'm very excited about the situation because it's a lifetime dream to, to wrestle for a million dollars for the James Crockett Memorial Senior Cup. I mean, it gives you butterfly in your stomach. It's a Super Bowl of wrestling. As far as I'm concerned, we're competing against 24 teams from different countries with different style, different strategies. I mean, it's going to be really something to see. And I think the combination of Magnum T and Ronnie Garvin is going to have a very good chance of coming out the winners. I think we've got an excellent chance of one special note. Nikita Koloff, the belt's still here, and the challenge is still up from me to you. Magnum T.A. Ron Garvin, certainly one of the favorites in the tag team tournament in New Orleans. Let's go to the ring. What do you think of your little Johnny DJ voice there? It's terrible, isn't it? Dude, you were doing such a put on there. <laughs> That's how that. <clears throat> All right. What? I did that because I was in transition mode. 
You don't believe that. Wait, you don't becoming a woman? What do you mean? (laughs) You gonna name yourself Cleo Uh, (laughs) Shavon? Boy, that all worked for today, (laughs) didn't it? Just it's like Johnny. It was just right there. I had to do it. It's like George Carlin coming back to the same joke. (laughs) Okay. No. Um I have in my possession, in my attic, I know that's there. A reel-to-reel tape, big silver reel-to-reel tape of the first time I ever recorded my voice. Really? Yeah, ever. It was for a project in college. And I'm telling you, it sucked. I was hayseed, talking like this. Undercover hillbilly. Undercover hillbilly was just running my words together. Just I couldn't pronounce shit. I was terrible. I took that tape to Tom Delaney, Channel 3, sports director, the big television station in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And I wanted to work with Tom. And Tom said, well, let's hear you. And I put that tape on and I could read his face. And then he cut the tape off and he said, you have a lot of work to do. And I did. And I worked on it. And so that is me working on my voice, a voice that a mere five years prior to that, six years prior to that, was the drizzling shits. So I worked on it and I developed the voice. and it. It of course it, it eventually left me, uh, kind of. But that was uh, really that's a true story. That's how it happened. So it was a real phony, fake ass voice that that became part of me, and it just fuck, I hated it. <laughs> now that I listened to it, so that's me in transition mode from undercover hillbilly to. to uh, Hillbilly out of the closet, so to speak. Does that make any sense? Yes. Yes. I also want to say Mr. Caeccio, who we wish a happy anniversary to, yep. is now 126 years old. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. I so just think- decided I'm going to make an executive decision here. Okay. If you would like for us to read your anniversary announcement <laughs> next week here on WHW, just tweet us at WHW Monday. And be sure to use hashtag WHW anniversary. If you tweet us at WHW Monday and use the hashtag WHW anniversary, we'll make sure that Tony Schiavone wishes you and your loved one a happy anniversary right here on the program. Well, you know, Lois and I have a big one coming up this year. Is this going to be 40? 40, yeah. That is a big one, dude. Yeah, that is a big one. My parents just did uh, 40 last year. Uh, their anniversary is on April 20th. It'll be oh. uh, their 41 year anniversary, mm. which means that I'm turning 40 in like three months, Tony. So your parents didn't waste any time either. Oh no. Those, no. those Thompson's fuck. Yeah. Hey, um, my 40th anniversary, we're going to do like a family or my anniversary, my 40th birthday. We're going to do like a family deal. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to do like a guy deal. Mm-hmm. Hypothetically, that'd be something you'd be into. Mm, yeah. Uh, I do need to say this. I'm as we talk right now. Yeah. Uh, this coming Friday, yep. I'm getting the vaccine. Oh, good for you, dude. Yeah. Congratulations. Especially in, uh, on stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, and Georgia now is 55 and over. There you go. And so I made an appointment and it's going to be a dual shot one, one day. And then three weeks later, another shot. I have the antibodies. Yeah. I found out I never tested positive for COVID ever, Mm -hmm. Uh, but I knew I was sick and I knew I had it because uh, people in my family had it, but I never tested positive, which tells you how weird all this is. Yeah. Then when I went to the AW show in Jacksonville, you know, you got to get tested to go through. Mm -hmm. Told me I had the antibodies. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's right. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.